Now, normally I would never say this, but I think this might be a little bit too big. I've never had to say that either. That's a low blow. I'm back and today we got something which really needs no introduction. See a couple of weeks ago a video was doing the rounds on Facebook and Twitter showing a 4.5 kilogram Toblerone chocolate bar. Now this is available in select stores to buy right now for the bargain price of 70 British pounds. At least that's what I paid for it anyway. Now this thing contains over 24,000 calories, 1,350 grams of fat, 270 grams of protein, greens, and a terrifying 2,835 grams of carbohydrate. Most of which of course is sugar. So I think one of two things could potentially happen here. Either I'll finish it or I'll die. Or both. I'm gonna give myself one hour to finish this monstrosity. So without further ado, this is Beer Meets Food, and this is the biggest Toblerone chocolate bar in the world. Has to be. Who's gonna? And real quick before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to Zero Seven Clothing, who sent me this early Christmas present this year. Actually, they sent me a lot of Christmas presents this year. I'm gonna open those in the next video, so stick around if you want to see that. But there's a link in the description which gets you a cheeky little discount. So go over to their website, check out their stuff. It's really cool. We are on the way. I'm not even really sure how to start this thing. Hopefully it's gonna be easy to open. I normally struggle with packages. I've got this giant shaker bottle full of coffee over here. How do you even eat this thing? Look at this. You can make little chocolate houses out of this. You can make big chocolate houses out of this. Whose idea was it to make a toddler on this big? I already know this is gonna be super hard. Oh. This is embarrassing. Oost! What's happening, Beard Army? You guys have been asking for this for so long that I just pretty much eventually caved in and decided to do this against my better judgment. But here it is, the 4.5 kilo, 10 pound, 24,000 calorie, biggest Toblerone in the universe. All right, so it took me almost nine minutes to eat one of these little pyramid things. Solid. It's like eating bricks. I think I just stabbed my table. Yeah, Lindsay's gonna kill me because in the process of trying to deconstruct these giant pyramids of solid chocolate, I ended up stabbing the table, which is why I ended up getting a plate to, to cut these things on because, man, they, they were literally like 
bricks, you know, chocolate bricks. I hope my dentist doesn't watch this. <laughs> my jaw's aching already. Yeah, and I hate to start whining so early, but this is a totally different discipline to eating, you know, a bunch of burgers. I don't know if you watched the Triple Trump Challenge or the Byron Hamburgers Challenge I did. Um, the weight difference isn't that much, but, you know, it's so much easier to eat soft foods like that. Um, eating just this amount of compacted chocolate is rough. <coughs> 19 minutes in, and I already feel like... <clears throat> I'm beat. Ugh. This feels like a junk food version <clears throat> of the sword in the stone. Look how dense it is. I think you could legitimately kill somebody with one of these. <laughs> I already know somebody's gonna get triggered at that, but try to relax, you know. I like Matt's videos, it's just me poking a little bit of fun. Anyway, you can see how, how tricky I'm finding this. I've only done like three of these pyramids. And as you can see, I'm in a lot of pain. I think part of the problem here is that this was actually delivered about 10 days ago and we kept it in the hallway, which is pretty cold, so... It's still, like, solid. Just off to the, the side there, that's, I mentioned it at the beginning, that's, that's actually coffee that I'm drinking. You can see how, how tough this is to, to actually chew. But yeah, the idea behind the coffee is it just kind of helps if you ever um, eat something that's really sweet. Because your body has kind of natural defense mechanisms in that it will make you feel nauseous much quicker because it's trying to kind of protect you, you know, because eating this much sugary stuff is, is really bad for you. I keep getting these little bits of honeycomb. But they're not really that little, they're like pebbles. Or rocks or something. My mouth feels so cut up. You know, just sore. I'm all chewing and grinding and cracking. Still a vast amount of this chocolate bar left, and every one of these. Just feels like it's own eating challenge. It's a lot easier to eat at the top, where the pointy bit is. It feels a bit softer, but this bottom part here, which is kind of like the foundation, that is just like eating cement. Not that I've ever, you know, eaten cement, but you get the imagery that I'm going for there. Anyway, I'm not going to talk through the rest of the video. I uh, hope you're enjoying it, and as always, I'll catch you at the end. <clears throat> On the plus side, I haven't had any cardiac arrhythmias yet, but 
I'm definitely starting to feel shaky. I don't feel full or anything. Obviously, because I've only eaten like three pounds of chocolate, but I just have this really intense urge to throw up. This is the worst thing I've ever done. Worse than the 13 pints of Ben and Jerry's. Worse even than that surprise girl's chili hot dog years ago. Now my heart's pounding a little bit. I actually thought I would get past halfway pretty easy. I don't think there's any chance. <coughs> Look at how much this chocolate bar is left. This was the stupidest idea ever. I'm getting that really salty taste when you get in your mouth before you puke. Oh, this is such a weird feeling. I've at least got to finish a third of it, at least. I have like five minutes left to eat. 6.6 .6 pounds of solid chocolate. And it's taken me almost an hour to eat three pounds of it. So I think I'm done. <laughs> this is the last time I listened to you guys. I think over a hundred people tagged me in this on Facebook or sent it to me or something. So I thought, oh, you know, I kind of have to do it. Never again. Eating solid chocolate is like different to eating anything else. Especially when it's like, it's, I mean, I didn't expect it to be hollow, but man, this is like super dense. And not only is it really rough on the jaw, chocolate just tastes awful after like, I would say like 300 grams of chocolate. That's, that's the point at which it stops tasting good. Anyway, thanks for watching my pathetic attempt to eat <coughs> the biggest Toblerone in the universe. Next video will be a little bit more conventional. It should be up in the next few days. But now, be it out.